There. That's the one. We would stop here growing up any time we were close to it. Dad said he's always paying respects to a friend, but he had to be stopping to see my mom. No hunter would ever be put into a crypt. <clears throat> Damn it, my arm is hurting like hell. It's probably because we're on hallowed ground. Gone, you don't look so good, Em. There's no color in your face at all. There's a lot of skeletons down here, and to think, they're all women. God, I wonder how far back they go. No time to find out now. The paper said between two kin will be the mark. Hell, between which two? I mean, just look around, him. There are so many. God, my arm feels like it's on fire. Damn it, Em, this isn't good. <sighs> hey, hey, give me the keys. I'll get us somewhere safe. <sighs> hey, hey, lie down on the bed. God, Em, you're white as a bed sheet. Hey, let me get this bandage off. Your idea of a safe place is a rundown motel? Well, well. You've been hiding, my sweet girl. I would never hide from the likes of you, demon. <laughs> <laughs> Feisty as ever. Even while in pain. You have about one minute to get out of here before my friend comes back. Oh, no. We have plenty of time. Your friend is indisposed at the moment. Em. I've been fascinated with you since your birth. Come on. The only girl in the family line destined to take me out and bring down hell itself? Of course, you had my attention from the beginning. I have an offer for you. You are all alone, and I have all the time in the world. I have no intention of losing you now. You will come to see things as I do. The prophecy was never meant to be about my demise or Lucifer's. This is truly what was meant to be. Oh, let go of my arm! I will never say yes. Oh, yes you will, my sweet. And my mark will make sure of that. You see, the pain will only get worse the longer you refuse my offer. 